If you think there's nothing to do in Newcastle and Lawrence County, then think again. Always stay connected to NCTV45 to receive the information on events going on in and around the area on a daily basis. Programs to view are Newswatch, The Morning Show, and Community Happenings. NCTV45 takes pride in bringing you the event and organization info that you want. NCTV45 is the number one media source locally. NCTV45, anytime on your time. Losing a loved one is difficult, and the grief it puts on your family can be troublesome. Ed and Don DeCarbo Funeral Home and Cremation Incorporated strive to make the hardest time for you and your family a comfortable one. They can accommodate for large gatherings to smaller private viewings. Hello and welcome to NCTV 45's Community Happenings. This for June 5th through June 11th, let's get right now to the public libraries. Well, at the Newcastle Public Library on Monday, it's book talk. It meets at 930 to discuss This Is Happiness by... Dayla Williams, call 724-658-6659, extension 109, to register and get more information. Now, um, as we continue on, know that a week from Monday, Beatnik Cafe will be at the Newcastle Public Library. Join like-minded adults and fans to anime at fandom 18 and older from 5.30 to 8 the first and third Mondays of the month library stitchers quilting the first and third libraries of each the first and third Fridays of each month all skills are welcome now on Wednesday, it's Mother Goose Story Time at the Newcastle Public Library, that at 10 o'clock. And then that's followed by We Build at 10.30. Virtual Story Time, Monday at 10 a.m. All you have to do is go to ncdlc.org and there's a Zoom link and a connection for you. Tuesday, June 7th, Pearson Park, Pre-K Explorers will be exploring the outdoors. And then on Saturday, June 11th, at the Amphitheater in the Fresh Marketplace in New Wilmington, they will be doing a book reading for the youngsters. That at 10.30. Now, uh, Pokemon Club, led by Pokemon, Mon Teen Led Club for teens and younger uh, fans. This is June 7th at 4 p.m. That's Tuesday. And also Monday, movie matinee. Uh, it's rated G, Finding Nemo. So uh, know that that's out there. Monday, the bookseller is open. Mondays and Wednesdays, 9 to 5, Tuesdays, noon to 5, Thursdays 10 to 4.30 and Saturdays 10 to 2. Now at F.D. Campbell Memorial Library the Summer Reading Challenge Program opens Monday June 6th. Make sure that you book it on out there and um, just enjoy. Down in Elwood City uh, a lot of great activities taking place as uh, set your calendar for well Saturday stem June 11th at 10 a.m. wild wet Wednesday summer reading program will start to take place next Wednesday at June 15th know that that's happening there down in Elwood City and uh, make sure that you give them a call 724-758-6458 for any additional information or questions or something you might want to check out now as we continue on with NCTV 45's community happenings 
I want to kind of get back to the library as they are going to have a special history type thing going on. Uh, it, of a revolting crime is made by murder. Headless body of a man is found partially under a tree and bushes. And this was down towards West Pittsburgh back in time. And uh, Bob Pressner will be there narrating and talking about this. This is at the library Wednesday, June 15th. The theme of torso murders and gruesome descriptions uh, that occurred in West Pittsburgh Swamp during the 20s and 30s. You have to call for a reservation, 724-658-6659, extension 109. So make sure that uh, you take a gander at that. We will be bringing you more community happenings throughout the week as they come up on NCTV 45 Newswatch. So I urge you to tune in daily to NCTV 45 and just enjoy our local programming. Now, remember, if you or your organization has something going on, email us at nctv45 at gmail.com and we'll do our best to get it on for you. Now, for NCTV45, I'm Angelo Parada. Remember, we're available anytime on your time. And make sure, above all, you have a great day, a great week, in the greatest castle in the world, in the county of Lawrence. Have a great day, everybody. We'll see you again real soon.